Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cutting another pie for you guys. This is also by The Scented Princess and this is in a pie that is just scented in straight zucchini. So I've actually been storing it in um, this little bag here that is from the Dollar Tree that is probably not for wax but whatever that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm going to be storing the chunks in as well so this is what the pie looks like this is an older pie um it has embeds on it of the ice cream cones like the other one did before only this one doesn't really have any glitter on it and yeah it's just kind of simple um I plan on using this for the full fall season um i plan on using this alone and i also plan on using this for blending so as always i'll show you guys the utensils that i use when i cut wax loaves or pies so the mat that i'm using is from the dollar tree and i mean if you're going to be cutting wax you're going to be making a mess and these are only a dollar and they're going to protect your counters so definitely pick up one of these it isn't fabric it's like um foamy plastic so um, it washes really nicely in the hot water so I've got my pie I picked up these bags from the Dollar Tree um, I think like I don't know maybe 20 or 25 bags came in the package so I've got a whole bunch of those here I'll probably only be using two I am actually going to be using this knife Ooh. It looks dangerous, but it's not. It's not a serrated knife. Just make sure that it's a smooth knife that you guys are going to be using, that it will cut through the wax uh, very easily. And then I also have my Pampered Chef blade here as well. Um, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. So I bought this through Pampered Chef. You can actually order these um, from wax vendors. Some wax vendors on their website carry these. Um, I don't know you're just gonna have to kind of shop around but this one does have kind of like a wavy type of blade and it makes cute little wavy you know cuts or whatever so it just basically depends on what you prefer I like this because it's easier to cut loaves and pies with like the big wax where if I'm just doing like really small stuff I'll just use a knife I mean it's not a big deal it's not rocket science okay so let's go this again is from the scented princess and she is not in business anymore and it is just in the fragrance zucchini love it so let me uh loosen up the sides here i'm gonna try to show you guys this without like knocking the camera but yeah it is gonna be a little bit messy so prepare for that um this wax is definitely a softer wax um, some loaves from companies are going to be soft and some are not. So let's see how we can pop this puppy out. Um, sometimes you can just like push on the back side. Oh, ooh. And there we go. It popped out. So this is a container. I will throw that away. I've got wax all over my fingers, which is to be expected. Now, some of you guys may say, Angela, you're cutting these pies wrong. You're doing it wrong. We would do it this way or that way. Listen, calm your tits. Everything is fine. Everything's going to be fine. The way I cut the pie is not a big deal. It's it's to your preference. Just, just don't worry about it. Okay, so first I am going to pop the embeds off the embeds are just the designs of um this harder wax on top and the soft wax kind of went over it a little bit so we're just going to kind of want to loosen it up and there we go and there it just pops right off very nice and neat let's just kind of stick that back on by the way if you guys hear dogs in the background it's because i'm taking care of oh my the fluff just came right off anyway i'm taking care of my mom's dog um for the next four days so pray for me because my dog miss nookie louise is like loving that she has a playmate but also hating it at the same time okay so this just came right off so let's put that down here and let's try to pop that embed off okay let's see here we go so there's another embed 
that we got popped off and then we'll get the third one. A lot of loaves that I've been seeing, um, I mean, some of them have embeds in them. You can request to have the embeds in and some of them don't. They're just like plain loaves. It's basically your preference. I think the more embeds, the more pretty the wax is. I mean, obviously this is a hot mess, but whatever. Okay, so let's start cutting. Um, what I like to do, well, because the top popped off, it's just gonna be a little bit different here. So let me just get my blade and we will just kind of make clean marks. And as you guys can hear, the dogs in the background are going a little ballistic. And I do apologize for that, but whatever. Okay, so we're just gonna make basically little tiny squares. And like I said, I'm gonna be using these to blend and um, also melt on their own in the wax warmer. So here we go. Here are the little wax cubes. They come apart like this. And I would probably use this, maybe like two of these, in a warmer for a chunk. There we go. They're coming off nice and neat. Okay, so let me put these in uh, my little rainbow bag here. Here we go and then we will cut the bottom. You guys, this smells amazing too. And I don't know if you guys remember in my other video, I did say that zucchini reminds me of um, patchouli, not the scent. I didn't mean like the actual fragrance reminded me of patchouli. I'm talking about just, I guess, personal experience. Like I either feel like you love patchouli or you hate patchouli. And I'm the same way with zucchini. I used to hate zucchini and now I love it. I don't like eating it, but I do like the smell of it. Um, so yeah, so I think it's just your own personal preference. Okay, so I am going to be leaving these out and bagging these with those because they are the same type of wax. Here is the soft wax in the bag, and we're gonna put that over here, and we're gonna get the harder wax. Now when I say harder wax, this is still really, really soft. I've seen wax that's even harder than this. Um, so let us cut through it. And you guys, it cuts so nicely. It almost has the consistency, I would say, of like butter that's been kept in the fridge for an hour. And you like took it out for maybe like 15 minutes and it just started to soften up. That's how I would describe, you know, the consistency of this. Okay, so let's take it piece by piece. And they are gonna, of course, stick together because they are a little softer. They just really slide right through. It's such a nice, even cut, and it's so satisfying, you guys. I was amazed at all of the people who commented on the last uh, video, and they said that this type of video was so relaxing to them. Now, I don't know if you guys watch those sand cutting videos at all on Instagram. They probably have YouTube as well, but oh my God, you guys, I could watch those sand smushing, I think is what it's called, like, you know, where you smush the sand. I could watch those all day long, and it does do something to you, doesn't it? Like, it's weirdly satisfying when they like smush the sand down and I don't know, what. why do you think that is? Why do you think that is, you guys? So bizarre to me. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a different bag, a new bag, and I'm gonna put these in a new bag. I'm gonna separate this consistency of wax um, and put this in a different bag than the other soft wax just because it is different and I feel like, I don't know, you know what, I'm bullshitting you. I don't even know why, I'm just gonna do it. There is no rhyme or reason for anything that I do. I just do what I wanna do and tell everyone F you that doesn't like it because I do me and that's how it goes. Okay, so you guys, we just cut that pie and look it, we have two full bags very satisfying smells amazing um and yeah thank you guys so much for joining me for this experience if you guys like it definitely um thumbs up this video leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to do more i have two other loaves and one pie left 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to be cutting anything now. I may do one around Christmas time. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everyone.